Here I am in Domvix, Domvix, and um, it's ten past twelve. No, it isn't. That's a lie. It's twenty-five to one. Five minutes after half past twelve, and people are sitting down having their lunch. There's some English people there, and it's a Monday, so most of the shops are closed, which is a good thing, I think because it allows the people who work in the shops to have a rest. And there is a coiffeur mixte hairdresser. That's closed. There's Jardis Fleur. That's a shop that sells flowers. That's closed too. La Boutique Cadeau Deco. That's a gift shop. That's closed as well. And Restaurant Cave. Avant le Marais. That's closed too because it's a Monday. And here we have La Terrasse, Bar Restaurant. That's open, but that will be closed tomorrow so that people can have a rest. But what's interesting for me is, and this is a scandal, is that everybody in France usually stops working between 12 o'clock midday and two o'clock in the afternoon. But look over here. You can see a, some guys, some workmen, busy. They're not having their lunch. They're busy working. And what they've been doing is constructing, making, a brand new zebra crossing. Look at that. I have always wanted to know how do they make zebra crossings? And the answer is they have a special paint and it's all carefully marked out so all of the markings will be absolutely accurate and it's a special paint that dries really, really, really quickly. Luckily, today is very hot. It's a very hot, sunny day, so that paint will dry super quickly. Here comes a car. I hope it's going to observe. Yes, it's not going to drive over. <gasps> Driving on the, on the left in France. My God. Yes, it's not going to drive over the paint. It didn't drive over the paint magnificent and there's a slight bump a slight incline in the road and that's to make people slow down before they arrive at the zebra crossing and we call that in English in Britain we call that a sleeping policeman <laughs> great so that's Donvix and I know that a lot of money has been spent in Donvix to make the centre of the village look particularly nice and people have been working for six months. I'm going to cross the road now but I'm not going to walk on the zebra crossing. Yep. And thank goodness for that. We can see those workers, they're going to have their lunch. A little bit late, it's 25, nearly 20 to 1, but there they are, quite sensibly, they're heading off into the terrace to have their lunch. Well done. And I imagine that when they come back, they'll finish doing the rest of the zebra crossing. Oh, now that's unusual. There's a hole there. I don't know what they're going to put in that hole. Maybe there's going to be a special post that says warning. I don't know. And here we have the plan, some information about the aménagement, I can't say that, aménagement du centre bourg. Uh, bourg, 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 I think. And it shows you how the things have been changed. And does it tell you who has paid for it? Yes, it does. The state the department, the region. 
and the state has paid a lot of money. <laughs> the region, no, the Vendée, the département, has paid a lot of money and so has the region. Well done. And the region is Pays de la Loire, the département is Vendée, Le Vendée, and the state, well, we know, La, la République Française. So all I can say is, vive la France. Vive la France. Fantastic.